Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Flu and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Exoprimal is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues including the black screen and how we can fix this app. The game release right now and many of the users are having this trouble so let's see some of the possible workarounds which you can be tried out when you're having these kind of issues. The first one is all about you can start with a simple restart which I suggest all the time you can start with a simple restart. For this just go over here in this icon now click on this one now go for the restart once restart is done just try launching the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. If this is not working we have to move to the next one. Next one is nothing but we have to verify integrity of game file. For this we just need to go over here in this icon just right click over here and go to properties now from here go to install and files now click on the verify integrity of game file so when you click on this one it's going to take a bit of time so what happens is this will be cross-checking every single files of the game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step so that's why the verify integrity of game file is an important step and also I'm recommending you can try this at the beginning because sometimes you know uh, this particular verify integrity of game file can fix the issue so you can try this out and uh, we are in the middle of video so I'm gonna skip and move to the next because it's gonna take a little bit of time so once you're done with this one we have to move to the next one that is we have to launch the game from the installation folder and instead of launching the game from Steam try launching the game from the installation folder for this we just need to go over here in the game we have two methods we can use the file explorer as well as the shortcut so i'll be depending on the shortcut so right click over here and go to the properties now from here go to install it files and click on the browse so you just need to go back and you can see that this particular folder is opened which is if you check at the top that is this pc local disc program file x86 steam steam apps common exo primal so this is the folder now from here you have to launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not if this is not working we have to move to the next step next step is all about we need to run the game as an administrator so hence we are in the installation folder i'm going to show you this from here itself then what you need to do is we just need to do like this that all you have to do is we just need to go over here in the game right click over here and go to show more options and go to properties go to compatibility now from here you just need to click on run this program as an administrator and once you set this run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not if this is not working we have to move to the next one next one is nothing but we have to run the game in the compatibility mode for running the game in the commentary mode it's so it's not so easy so we need to go over here right click over here and go to show more options over here go to properties once again go to compatibility now from here if you check at the top as you can see there is a compatibility mode option so just click on this one that is run this program in compatibility mode and you can try with first windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok so if windows 7 is not working you can change with windows 8 and go for apply and go for ok and once you set, you can see whether the issue is solved by try launch the game. So if this is still not working, we can move to the next step. But even I request you to change one thing that you can right click over here and go to the show more options and go to the properties and compatibility. Now from here, if you set this to combat, I mean, if you set this to, uh, you know, compatibility mode, you can uh, uncheck this and you can go for keep only run this program as an administrator and go for OK and try whether the issue is solved or not. Right now, as you can see, over here that's all the four node files were successfully validated which means you're not having any corrupted files and any files are not missing so we can move to the next step next step is all about we can start with we have to go to we need to set the language to english of windows so some users might be having a tendency of they play the game with native language setting the windows language to native like chinese japanese Arabic, which goes the issue so just go over here in the search over here go to settings now from here go to time and language now from here go to language and region so set for add a language you can search for english and set the language to english and try launch the game this is what you have to do and in most cases this did work it so you can try this out and also make sure if you're from the country has to be correct so if you're from india you have to select india if you're from united states you have to select united states set the country according to geography it should not be changing this now go back over here and go to the date and time over here and as you can see 
that you have to make sure the time and time zone should be correct because uh, for many users this did work it so you have to set this up that time and time zone should be correct and you have to make sure that it's all good with the sync it has to be synced or else you have to sync it once after that just go back and try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not if it's still not working we have to move to the next one that is we just need to click on the play button but clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard that is what very important one you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard so this did work it for many users and for me personally this did work it when it comes to uh, for the games like you know uh, for dead space and even for resident evil and even the spider-man morales it's all worked so you can try this so just click on the play button but keep in mind you have to press just alt and tab from the keyboard all together simultaneously when you're clicking on the play button so you can try this out next one is all about you can try with deleting saved game file for this game is excel primal is actually auto saving all the steps so if you started playing the game you know in the file explorer if you go to the file explorer over here in the documents you'll be having the folder on the game exo primal as you can see there is a folder so you have to delete this particular folder and you have to knew that that you will be losing all the progressions of the game just fine just delete it and you have to start from the scratch and did this work up for many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but we have to allow the game to window security for this we just need to go over here in the search and we have to go over here in the control panel now from here we have to go to system and security now from here we have to go to windows defender firewall now from here we have to go to allow app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to set this up right now as you can see you have to keep scrolling down hence it is an alphabet you have to go over here and find the exo primal over here as you can see the game is here and make sure the private and public has to be checked if the private and public is not checked you have to check yourself and you have to if the game is not here we can add it by default for this just click on the change settings and go for allow another app now from here you have to click on the browse now from here go to this pc go to local to c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down go to steam go to steam apps once again go to common once again and from here we have to find the folder on the exo primal and it is quite easy you have to select this one and add it if you click on the add i'll be getting the error so it's not error it's added so i have to make sure it's added and once it's added you just need to go back and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not this is not working we have to move to the next one that is nothing but we have to unplug all the usb devices so most of the people have a tendency they play the game with controllers or they might be connected with any other peripherals like logitech wheels hotas etc or even the multiple monitors they might be connected so this particular thing can cause the issue i don't know how these related but this course can even cause the issue so you have to remove everything from the usb port launch the game after the game is launched just connect back if you wanted to play with the control just connect back the control afterwards if you wanted to play with the mouse fine with it just connect back the mouse and try and check whether the issue is solved or not this did work it in my cases and i found this from the reddit for many of the games and this did work it for all as a common troubleshoot so you can try this out next one is nothing but we can try with you have to perform a clean boot for this we just need to go over here in the search and we have to go over here in the system configuration and we have to go to services we have to go for disable all make sure hide all make sure services is done Go for apply and go for okay they're gonna ask you a restart so uh, what you need to do is for those users who are watching this they just need to go for restart but i'm gonna go for exit restart with a we are in the middle of video shooting is progressing so i'm gonna go for exit without restart for those who are watching this they have to go for restart once restart is done you have to launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about nothing but we can try with disabling the steam overlay for this just go over here in the game right click and go to properties now from here we need to go to make sure this is turn it off this is an important step next one is apart from this we can try launch the game if that's not working we have to give few commands try with giving the, these commands in the launch option that might work the first one is we have to try with the x11 try with the dx11 and try launch the game if that's gonna work or not if that's not what we're working we have to change this to dx12 and try launching the game as well so you can try with either dx11 or you can try with the dx12 that can even work so you can try with any one of the thing and that's gonna work like a bingo if that's not working we have to move to the next one next one is nothing but we have to try the game to run on the dedicated graphics card for this reason we have to go over here in the search we have to go for graphic settings over here you can search for graphic settings 
Now from here I have already added the game like you know Call of Duty Modern Warfare and I have already added Dave the Driver, Dead by Daylight and even Grand Theft Auto I have already added. So you can add the same over here for this just click on the browse over here. Now from here we have to go to this PC, go to local DC, now go to program file x86. Go to Steam folder over here and go to Steam apps over here once again and go to common. Now from here we have to find Exo Primal. Now select this one and go for add and once the game is added you just need to make sure one more thing that's quite important. You have to click on the options and you have to set this to high performance. Go for save and close this and go back and try launch the game. This did work it for many users because when you're running this on the high performance, if it's gonna go for any kind of crash, they're gonna help you guys out not to crash. So just set this up and see whether the issue is solved. If still it's not working, we have to move to the increased virtual memory. For this reason, we have to go over here in the game. We need to go for view advanced system settings and go for to advanced once again, go for settings once again, go to advanced, go for change. Now over here under the virtual memory, make sure this is blank actually and you have to select the local disk where the game is going to get installed and in my case it is in local disk C. So I have to select the local disk C and go for the custom size, set the value for initial size and maximum size. Initial size is always 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is always 3 times the total RAM. So, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, I need a calculator to do a few calculations. So first thing what I need to do is I just need to type the RAM. So my RAM is 32 GB. So you have to type your RAM and you have to multiply with a constant value that is 1024, which is going to do the conversion. So that is 32,768. You have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 49,152. So you just have to copy and paste it over here and we have to move to the next one. That is multiply 32 GB. Sorry, you have to multiply 32 GB with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3. That brings you 98304. So just copy this and paste it as well. Once you set this up, just set everything over here and move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to try with we need to update the windows that did work it for many users you can try this out as well for this just go over here in the search go to settings over here go to the windows update and make sure the windows is up to date if you're having any kind of these kind of things just update from your side and make sure the windows is up to date and that's what we have to do for in the game for running these kind of games like you know exo primal even war thunder even if you can depends on sense of forest or for all these things we need the windows to be in the latest version so just update the windows and you can try with those as well Moving to the next one is all about you can try with updating the graphics card which is pretty an important step in this particular one so for this just go over here in this one so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the md the nvidia users can go over here and they can find the product product series product operating system language etc so in my case it is geoforce i have to sell the respective one from here then I just need to go over here and I have to find whether on 4090 and I have to select the respective one and the windows has to be 11 in my case I'm using windows 11 then I have to go for start search so right now as you can see I'll be getting the latest outdated versions from here over here you can see that is 536.40 is a version which is released on 29 June 2023 so I just have to download this one install and restart the PC and try with whether the issue is solved if you're on the AMD just go over here select the graphics every models from here and go for submit now from here if you go over here in the submit you will be getting the options for windows 11 64 bit and even for windows 10 64 bit so just download a windows 11 64 bit if you're on windows 11 and if you're on windows 10 download this one install restart and see whether the issue is solved or not but even in some cases this might work if not so you can try with one more possible workaround that's called installing the microsoft visual c plus plus i'll be providing a link in the description that is this one we can go over here download and install x64 based one because uh, my particular PC which I'm using right now is on X64 so I have to download this one. If you're on X86 you can download this one and download and install restart the PC and try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Even if after trying all these things still you're not working with this you can try with one step that's called uninstalling the game and reinstalling it back. That is one more thing that you need to keep in mind when you're doing this you have to go over here right click and go to manage uninstall the game for reinstalling back. You should not be depending on the local disk which is already uninstalled so you have to install the game back on any other local disk so that's going to work and that did work it for many users as i found this particular one in the community forums and even in the reddit and even in the quora many people mentioned this so you can try this out as well so these are the possible workaround which you can be tried when you're having an issue with exoprimal the new game released right now 
the steam and uh, you know it's a good game but uh, you can try whether it's uh, when you're having these kind of troubles and uh, you know you can try this out and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe on this channel and we're going to upload many more videos on this see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye